What's going on, YouTube? Just getting home from work, <clears throat> and uh, my wife is sick, so as you guys can tell by the title on the video, it's gonna be a quick little chicken broth soup that you can make for your loved ones if they're ever feeling sick. And uh, you guys just stay tuned, stay along, fathers, husbands. You guys can cook this for your wives, your significant other, uh, if they ever feel sick, this is a great recipe to make them feel better. Uh, get some on their stomach if they can't hold nothing down. This is something light that they can keep down and uh, hopefully bounce them back to full health. Stay tuned. So first thing you want to do, start off with a sharp knife. Open your pack. Get you out one chicken breast. One will go a long ways, and we're just going to take it, and we're going to shave off some thin pieces to that thickness, and we're just going to keep doing that about one or two more times, and be careful to not cut yourself, because like I told you guys, these knives are very sharp, so that's pretty good right there, going to trim off some of this fat, like I say, we're going to we want this to be nice and light, something that they can keep down, and uh, just so this don't go to waste, I'm going to uh, feed this to my dog, so he's going to get him a good little meal out of that as well. Like I said, you want to trim off as much of this fat as you possibly can, so you just left with the lean meat. Step two, always clean my meat. So just because this is only a couple pieces that we're gonna use, we're gonna do it right here in the bowl. Uh, don't wanna cross contaminate. This is gonna work in, so we're gonna get some salt. Put that in there, and I know this looks like a lot of salt, but I'm gonna show you guys what's gonna happen. <clears throat> then we're gonna get some, get some vinegar. Also pour that in there. Then we're gonna fill the rest of it up with water. Fill it up with water. And we're just gonna let that sit in this mixture while we're chopping up all of our vegetables. So we're gonna get half of a yellow onion, uh, probably not even half. Slice it down the middle, set it up to the side. Again, then we're gonna peel off that first layer. See, we don't want this to be, oh, uh, that's the point where I miss my daughter. So then, I'm just gonna come, and we're just gonna shave off as thin as we can get them. Some slices of onion, as thin as possible. And this is where a knife, nice, sharp knife come in handy. Sharp, thin as possible. And we're gonna add this to our bowl. Discard of this. And we got some spring onions. Cut the tail ends off of those. We're gonna try and cut this as thin as possible as well. Like I said, you can make this soup for anybody, your kids, um, like I said, your wife, your husband, uh, but you know, since I'm trying to reach the fathers, fathers, you know, your wife gets sick, your kids get sick, this would be a nice little pick-me-up meal that you can do for them. Oh yeah, another thing, fathers, if you guys didn't notice, I, uh, I changed my cutting board. You don't want to cut your vegetables on the same platform. You don't cut up your chicken, man. That's cross-contamination. You don't want to do that. You don't want to risk, and also change my knife, too. You don't want to risk um, salmonella because <laughs> if you think a common cold is bad salmonella will kill you <laughs> alright then that'll be good right there next thing we got uh, we're going to probably need one put this to the side that's a pretty big piece of garlic 
So I like cutting off the top end. It just make it peel better for me and easier. Like I say, this is how I do it. You know a different way, tell me down in the comments below, but that way always, it's the easiest way for me. We're gonna do this garlic. We're gonna put our knife at a smaller angle. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. Put our knife at a little angle, and we're just gonna shave off little, little thin slices. Like I say, this is gonna be uh, just something light. These garlic slices is really gonna be there for the flavor. Uh, you can also eat them too. Garlic is good for you when you're sick as well. So is ginger. Uh, the Walmart I went to, for some reason, they ain't have no fresh ginger. So we skipped off on the ginger, but we're going to just thinly slice us some pieces of garlic. Don't lose this piece that's trying to run. And then about one or two more slices will be good. All right, that's perfect right there. We're going to add them in with them green onions. And then we're going to put this up. Do not waste vegetables. And then for the end garnish, we got us uh, some fresh curly parsley. Let's just take the band off of that. And we're going to put this on uh, at the end for the garnish. Like I say, just ball it up. Nice tight little ball. And we're just going to nicely go through that. And we're going to add this. Um at the end. So our uh, chicken should be done sitting in that salt. And if I had, if I would have had some lime or some lemon juice, I would also put that in the chicken, but I do not. But vinegar and salt will also do the job as well. So you don't got to worry about it. But if y'all got some salt and lime, add that salt and lime to that, uh, to that chicken cleaning uh, process. Alright, so just gonna rinse it off. Dust that out. And then you'll notice once you rinse it off, it's not gonna have that little film that be at the top if you ever put just regular chicken in there. The water gonna run clear. So just get all that salt and vinegar off. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna take you guys to the next step. So just gonna get the chicken. And then you're going to just cube it up small as possible. Small as possible. So when we cook this, not only do it cook fast, we're going to uh, pan sear that chicken. So not only is it going to cure fast, but it's going to give something for the seasonings to hold on to while we're cooking them. And it's not going to lose its uh, flavor once we put it in that hot broth. So we're just going to slice these up, then we're going to come back <coughs> and dice them on up. We got to hurry up because I can hear my wife in there in the room now. So I'm trying to speed this process up. So we're just going to come, get out a little rough chop. Come on, come on. Like I say, take your time with it. You don't want to rush, man. The, the more you rush food, the the worse it tastes to me. That's that's me, man. So I know she enough. She she ready to put some on her stomach, but you don't want to rush, man. You you also want want your loved ones to enjoy what you're doing for them. You don't just want to do them any kind of way. At least that's how I feel. Like to take my time and just do stuff right. So. Salt to taste, some accent, and one of my favorites. Uh, oh, don't drop it! Everglades original. And that's it. Nice little light seasoning. Add a little 
of olive oil in there to get it moisten it up a little bit. Man, I, man, when I tell y'all that smell good already, man, just by them little light seasonings, man. All right, we're just going to let this chill out to this pan warm up. Man, I almost forgot one of the most important ingredients, man. Some about them red chili flakes get in the light that really do something to it. So we're going to add some of them as well. That heat really opened up them pores, man. Open up them sinuses. I don't know the medical part of it, but that, not a lot. That's good right there. About that much. But them chili flakes open you up, man, to get it up out you. Get all that badness up out you. So, yeah, let's just let this chill to this pan uh, heat up. So, we're just going to start pouring a little olive oil in there. Just enough to get it right. A little bit more. Uh, just a touch more and then we're going to get just a little bit of butter not too much literally just a little bit not too much yes. man. enough to lube that pan up how you need it turn it up just a little bit And then we're just going to add that chicken in there. Man, y'all can smell how good this smell already, man. And we just letting that go. So now with the broth, make sure I just got some water. Fill the little pot up. And then we're just going to add two of these Maggie Bouillon Cubes. Not sponsored, we just delicious. Oh, these are uh, Knorr's, not Maggie's. I normally get Maggie's. But they're going to do just the same thing. And then just add a little bit of accent. Maggie's gonna really get all the flavor you need. And a little bit of black. Add your green onions and your garlic. And we're gonna add the uh, yellow onion last because we don't want that to get soggy. We want that to still have a nice bite to it. And just gonna let you guys see. Chicken is done. That took about three minutes pop. Chicken is done. Turn that on. So this is how our broth turned out. Nice, light, and delicious. Just gonna bowl this up. Get a couple pieces of that garlic in there. gonna lightly garnish this with the onions like I say my wife love the onions and then you also want the onions to keep his little bite so just the regular heat put it back so the regular heat just from the broth alone is gonna basically cook the onions to the doneness that you want it then we're gonna add let me zoom out a little bit I'm trying to do all this with one hand no excuses. So then we're just gonna add some of our chicken in there. Yeah, and that leftover uh, broth and stuff. Get a big spoon too. So that leftover broth and chicken, don't throw that away. Next day, later on at night, just keep trying to encourage them to put some on their stomach. That's not, that's not too heavy, that's not gonna make them throw up but they need someone in their stomach to get their energy back, the bounce back. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna garnish a plate. You're gonna get some rich crackers. 
down there on the side. Come over here to the table. So get some wrist crackers, just the soup. And then we're just gonna get some of that fresh parsley we chopped up and just sprinkle just a little bit right on the top. And then we're gonna take it to them. Also got a Gatorade to get them electrolytes back in them. It's important they get some on their stomach. I'm gonna keep the camera face on me because I don't know what condition she in. It's my first time going to the room. I don't know if she butt naked or what. So I'm gonna keep the camera on me. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, so I ain't gonna get on there in a vulnerable state. But there you go, babe. You're welcome. But it's what it's all about, about taking care of our families, especially taking care of our wives and our kids. And like I say, fathers, if you guys find this video useful, please let me know down in the comments below, man. You know, I'm trying to do this for y'all, man. Do this for us fathers, black, white, brown, albino. We all in this together, man. It, it's going to take fathers to get this nation to back where it need to be at. Mothers, we not excluding y'all but fathers I truly believe it's up to us to get this nation back to where where it needs to be uh once the man get it and get in position what can stop us man so just want to encourage you guys to be that father man if you don't got a child find a young kid that's on the corner somewhere or a nephew or somebody some kid you know and just look out for him man you know be that father figure to him, man, because it's on us, man. Y'all have a good one. I'm about to take care of my wife. <sighs> and I'll catch y'all next time. Eee!